Hello everybody, it is Storyteller Naomi and Pocky reading for you today with Reading with Royalty. Happy Pride everybody! Pride Month happens from June 1st to June 30th and we recognize everything under the rainbow for the 2X LGBTQ plus community. Our two stories today are centered around the rainbow and the two-spirit community. So, our very first story today is Black is a Rainbow Color. Black is a Rainbow Color is written by Angela Joy and is illustrated by Equa Holmes. And it's from the publishing house Roaring Books Press of New York. So Black is a Rainbow Color. Red is a Rainbow Color. Green sits next to blue. Yellow, orange, violet, and indigo. They are rainbow colors too, but my color is black, and there's no black in the rainbow. Black is a crayon tangled in a box. Black is a feather on white winter snow. Black is the dirt where sunflowers grow. My color is black. Look at the wonderful sunflower dress she is wearing. Black are the braids in my best friend's hair. Black are the bottoms of summertime feet. Black are soft circles that spin down the street. My color is black. Black is a rhythm. Black is the blues. Black is sidewalking in spit shine shoes. Black is the robe on Thurgood's back. Black are the trains on railroad tracks. Black are the eyes on salted peas. Black are the shadows of ooh, old magnolia trees. Black is molasses from tall sugar cane. Black is soft singing. Hush now, don't explain. Black is the skillet for bread to fry. Black are dreams and raisins left out in the sun to die. Black is the color of ink staining page. Black is the mask that shelters his rage. Black are the birds in cages that sing. Black is a color. Black is a culture. Black is history. Black is family. Black is memory. Black is community. Black is the love that lives inside of me. My color is black. Black are the stones bearing witness to prayer. Black is the faith in freedom not seen. Black was the man who gave the world his dream. Black is a color, black is a culture. So here we have Martin Luther King saying we have a dream. Black is a heart of a candle and a flame. Black is the power of movement and pain. Black are the branches that carry my name. Weaving, wrapping, lifting, laughing, hoping, grasping, quiet, strong. Our color is So you see, there's no black and rainbows, no black and green or blue, but in my box of crayons, black is a rainbow too. So that has been black is a rainbow color. So I resonate with the story because I am of black descent. My mom is white, but my dad is black. So I resonate with this young girl here that black is a color, black is a culture. I hope you enjoyed that story. Before we go on to our second story, we're going to take a quick body break. All right, everybody, do you know what makes a rainbow? That's right, we need rain, but we're indoors, so we can't have rain indoors. But I know a song that has rain in it. Do you know the song, The Itsy Bitsy Spider? You do? Well, that's the song that we're gonna do for our body break. But don't be scared. We're gonna make spiders with our hands. You're gonna take your fingers and you're gonna make a spider. And we're gonna go, the itsy bitsy spider walked up the water spout. 
Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Up came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy spitsy spider walked up the spout again. Can you do that? All right, now that you know the song and the actions, let's do it together. The itsy bitsy spider walked up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Up came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider walked up the spout again. Where's the spider, everybody? Is the spider in your hair? Or maybe the spider is on your shoulder? Or maybe it's in your hair? Oh no! Let's do it one more time, everybody. <gasps> the itsy spitsy spider walked up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Up came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider walked off the spout again. All right, everybody, sit back down while we read our second story. All right, everybody, so our second story today is 47,000 beads. 47,000 beads, we are going to learn what the term two-spirited means. And two-spirit is in the acronym, the 2S LGBTQ+, or in the LGBTQ 2S+. So 47,000 beads is written by Koja Adehoa and Angel Adehoa, and it is illustrated by Holly McKillis. And it's from the publishing house, Flamigo Rampant. Peyton's Auntie Erota came into her room, time for bed, but before sleep, tell me, why do you not dance powwow with us, little one? Peyton shrugged and flopped down on her bed. Come on now, said Auntie. Tell me. All in a rush, Peyton said, I don't want to jingle dance, Auntie. I don't want to wear a dress. Peyton, there are many dances, Auntie said gently. There are many regalias. So right here, we have Peyton's regalia. Peyton started to cry. Finally, she said, there's just none for kids like me. Auntie smiled at Peyton and started undoing her braid. I think I'm beginning to understand. You sleep now. Tomorrow is a new day and I know someone who can help. In the morning, Auntie Yota baked bread and went to go see her friend. She found Al working and said, Ho, oh, how's it today, grandparent? Al put down the tools and answered, It's a good day. What can I help with you today, Aota? Aota gave Al the bread she baked, and they sat down together in a shady spot. When they were settled, Auntie explained that she wanted to talk about her niece, Peyton. Al asked, Peyton is the small, quiet one? Oh yes, that's the one, said Auntie Aota. You noticed her? I've noticed that I always see her keeping time with her feet, but she doesn't dance. She looks at the dancers like she wants badly to dance. Like in her heart, she is dancing. She is a shy child, as Elle. Peyton is special, grandparent different. I think her path is to spirit. I think she wants regalia like her brother and uncle. She feels alone, but I know she isn't. I want to show her that she's not. Well, said Al, I'm happy to share teachings with her, and we guide while she learns which path is hers to walk. But I think you need more than just that, yeah? Yota laughed. You saw that too. I was hoping you'd help me with getting Regalia together for her, the kind she really wants. I know it's a lot to ask. It's a big job, yeah, but that's why we have a community. Let me ask around. Are you still beating too, Yota? Let's draw it up. On the way home, Yota called her sister Chapa, Peyton's other auntie, and asked if she'd make Peyton's new beaded belt and headband. Maybe use lots of orange. It's your favorite. What is your favorite color? My favorite is purple. 
Then she sat down with Peyton's mom, Micah, to explain. They spoke late into the night. Her mom asked, should I be worried? Yorta said, no, sister. You should make a ribbon skirt and pants to match. You'll see. She'll finally get out in the arena where she's meant to be. Who else should she ask? Auntie sent an email to the grandmother who first taught her how to bead. Winona was still making regalia, and she said she would be glad to help, even if she needed a magnifying glass to see all the tiny beads on Peyton's harness and aprons. Auntie Yoda called her cousin all the way in Montana. He was so excited to make such a beautiful armband and cuffs for Peyton's new regalia. He sent them with a blessing to sing at the powwow for her with a hug for Peyton. Last but maybe most important, Al offered to make Peyton's moccasins. They had turtles on the toes to give endurance for the dance and to make Peyton's feet feel grounded to the earth. Peyton was in her room getting ready for the giveaway of potluck. It was one of her favorite and best parts of the powwow. Her aunties and mama would drum and sing, and there would be as much of all of her favorite foods as she could eat. What should I give away, Peyton thought. Grandmother says it's always something you value that you give first. Wait, I've got it. Peyton got down the abalone shell that she put up on the shelf. She held it and remembered how happy she'd been to get it and how it had made her smile all year when she looked at it. Perfect. When they got to the potluck, Auntie Yorta had said, Peyton, I have a very special giveaway for you this time. You have heard how when I was a girl, how I wanted to drum, but all the drummers were men where I lived. Now you know I'm a head singer on our drum here. My family believed in me and honored me, and today I'm grateful to do the same for you. Our whole family wants to give you this gift to you, but the person to give it is a new teacher for you, Aunt Yoda said, taking Elle by the hand. This grandparent will give you the stories and help you find your path. And my apologies, I may not be pronouncing this correctly. Aho Takocha, said Elle, greeting Peyton. I have such stories to tell you about people from all the nations who carry two spirits inside of them. I can't wait to tell them to you. Peyton, your tears bay and community stand behind me to give you this gift, and may you dance strong in it tomorrow, Al said. Peyton unwrapped each package and, and heard who had made and given it with her mother and Auntie Yorda sitting beside her. The next day at the powwow, in the arena with her auntie, drumming an honor song. Peyton was finally dancing, dancing as herself, not as a boy or as a girl, but as Peyton in her 47,000 beats. So everybody, two spirit is a newer English word used as rough translation for all the words in the language of many tribes and nations. Two spirit describes someone whom non-indigenous people might call gay, lesbian, bisexual, trans, and gender independent or non-binary. The word two-spirit only describes native, indigenous, or first nations people and should not be used for others. All right, everybody. Poppy, did you enjoy those two stories? Poppy enjoyed those two stories. Did you, my bubblegum? So I have been storytelling Naomi and I read Black is a Rainbow Color and I read 47,000 beats. I hope you all have a wonderful Pride Month. And remember, Pride is just not one month, but it's all year round. That's all I have for you today. Until next time, bye!